हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास दिस इज द यूरिन फॉर्मेशन पार्ट टू ओके सो यूरिन फॉर्मेशन एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट यूरिन यूरिन फॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन अ थ्री स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज कॉल्ड एज द ग्लोमेरुलर फिल्ट्रेशन और अल्ट्रा फिल्ट्रेशन दैट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट री एब्जॉर्बन first of all we should know what is the meaning of word reabsorption re means what again and absorption means again absorption that means whatever the substance are going to be absorbed in a renal tubules they are already absorbed before also where they got absorbed in the duodenum part of, so, sorry not duodenum in jejunum and ileum part of small intestine okay whatever the food we have ate from that this nutrients are already absorbed in our blood now again second time they are reabsorbing back into the body by our what renal tubule so that is called as what reabsorption so reabsorption is done by the epithelial cells of renal tubules okay uh, tubular epithelial cells so they are reabsorbing the some substance for example if we will talk about uh in one day how much filtrate is forming 180 liter okay 180 liter of the filtrate is forming in one day clear to here so but one thing you tell me in one day how much urine we pass out we pass out 1 liter to 1.5 liter urine we pass out in one day okay so how much filtrate is forming 180 liter but we are passing out only 1 to 1.5 liter that means 179 liter or 178.5 liter of urine is getting or filtrate is getting reabsorbed back into our body suppose if this process of reabsorption will not takes place in the renal tubule then what will happen this whole 180 liter of urine will be formed and our maximum time in a day will be spent inside our restroom only and moreover to excrete out 180 liter of the urine more water is required so we our body entire water will be lost out and we will suffer from what dehydration okay because to pass out 180 liter of urine that much water is required and we are having limited quantity of water in our body because we are the terrestrial animals clear so reabsorption so that's why reabsorption that means how much this much filtrate got reabsorbed so this is how much 99% of filtrate gets reabsorbed back into body okay so in this reabsorption first of all uh, where who is doing this reabsorption cells of renal tubule okay renal tubule what is renal tubule i think you know uh, bowman capsule pct loop of henle collecting duct and okay distal convoluted tubule acha now here one thing we should know that glucose amino acid and sodium ion this three absorbed by active absorption okay second thing we should know that water and nitrogenous waste water and nitrogenous waste these two things here i should write re re because again ha huh, passive reabsorption because this three are getting reabsorbed against concentration gradient against concentration gradient and these two are absorbed toward the concentration gradient water is reabsorbed in the initial mostly most water reabsorbed in initial segment initial segment of renal tubules in initial segment of renal tubule okay tell me the name of 
that initial segment PCT. Okay, in the NCERT also it is written that 70 to 80 percent of water and electrolyte get reabsorbed into the PCT. So initial segment or initial part of renal tubule is what PCT. So in that, so they are toward concentration gradient. They are reabsorbing and they are reabsorbing again. So here energy is required. Here no energy is required. Okay, so in this way reabsorption takes place. Now in the last process of the urine formation the last process of the urine formation is secretion see secretion is a very very important process so when filtrate pass through when filtrate pass through renal tubule when filtrate pass through renal tubule the tubular epithelial cell tubular epithelial cells okay what is tubular epithelial cells suppose here this is what proximal convoluted tubule this is proximal convoluted tubule this is loop of henle this is distal convoluted tubule and this is what collecting duct this is what distal convoluted tubule this is what proximal convoluted tubule uh -huh. so what is happening there are some cells are there which lines this okay these are some cells are there now these cells secrete so this tubular epithelial cells this secrete three things into the filtrate secretes what first is what h plus ion second is what ammonia and third is what K plus ion, potassium ion. So these three things into filtrate. And they absorb. What they absorb? HCO3 negative bicarbonate from filtrate. From filtrate. The meaning is what? From here. What will be they will secrete H plus ion into the filtrate. So that's why whatever the urine will come out from here, it will it's it will be what acidic. Urine is always acidic. Why? Because the pH of the urine is what 6. That is what slightly acidic. Now, why urine is acidic? Because this tubular epithelial cells are secreting what into this filtrate? H plus ion. So that's why in this filtrate H plus ion concentration is high. Okay. Second, ammonia is a highly toxic, so it should be removed out of our body. So, this tubular epithelial cells are secreting ammonia. Ammonia is mixing with this urine and comes out of the body. Third is what? K plus ion. Actually, K plus ion reduces the nerve, nerve excitability. Okay. It reduces the excitability of what? Nerve. Okay. Who increases the excitability of nerve? Sodium. Because when sodium, Na plus gates will open, sodium will enter. So, that is a different thing. Uh, so, Na, K plus ion, if potassium ions are more, potassium is more in the body, then what will happen, you know, we can suffer from cardiac arrest also because potassium decreases the nerve excitability because of that what will happen, the rate of heart contraction, the rate of heartbeat will decrease and it can stop also, it, that's why the coconut water, coconut water la contains large quantity of what potassium ion. So, excessive coconut water can cause the cardiac arrest or uh, cause the bradycardia means decrease in the number of heartbeat. Okay. So, that's why it also has to be removed out of the body. That's why they are throwing what? K plus also into this filtrate. So, okay. So, in this urine K plus ammonia and H plus these three things will be there. Okay. And what is getting absorbed from the filtrate? What they are sucking from the filtrate? Bicarbonate. HCO3 okay HCO3 negative they are pulling back so that's why this HCO3 that's why if HCO3 is reabsorbed back into your body because of that only the pH of blood is how much 7.4 that is what slightly basic why blood is slightly basic because it contains more quantity of what HCO3 negative because it is get absorbed so what is the use of this secretion to maintain Ionic and pH balance 
of body fluid okay so see your body fluid is what blood blood ph is 7.4 that means slightly basic why because hco3 negative is reabsorbed back that's why okay urine is acidic because what is thrown into the filtrate h plus is thrown and that h plus mix with and come out through the urine okay so these all are the basic things for uh, which is very very important for the need okay i hope you understand this urine formation thank you